Our guest today in Peach Talk is Mrs. Nudupe Ogumbaye, Director of Media and Publicity, Spokesperson for Jimmy Abadje Campaign Organization. You're welcome. Our guest today in Peach Talk is Mrs. Nudupe Ogumbaye, Director of Media and Publicity, Spokesperson for Jimmy Abadje Campaign Organization. You're welcome. And they don't see it. We're going to get there. <laughs> We're getting there already. <laughs> all right, all right. About the PDP campaign, the work has been happening. Yes, that, but before we even go into any of that, but with all the noise everywhere, how confident? Our confidence is my part. Yeah, our confidence is my On the ratio of 1 to 10, I would say we have 10. We have 10 on the ratio of confidence. We are very, very confident of winning this particular election. All the indices of victory point in our favor. Mm -hmm. The people of Lagos State are solidly behind us. Mm -hmm. At every public forum that my principal, Mr. Luji Mikola, where they attend, you hear the approbation they give him each time. And then after the, the last uh, of, uh, set of political debates were held, mm -hmm. opinion polls were held by several uh, media houses. And you can see that my principal led in all of those opinion polls. So that's an indication that. Mr. Luigi Mikola Wale is the most popular short of mm -hmm. in this gubernatorial election. Mm -hmm. And that come from March 2nd, mm -hmm. the Goshians are trooping out en masse to vote for Mr. Luigi Mikola Wale mm -hmm. as the next mm -hmm. governor of the state. Mm -hmm. We are very confident of that and it's happening this time. Okay. All right, this slogan that Lagos is in bondage, what does that really mean? Because you know, like, you know, I'm a I go out a lot, and when I talk to people, some people will say they are not in bondage. But when, and some will say, truly, we are in bondage. But from his own perspective, I want to know, when is this legal as a bondage that we need to be set free? That's a common misconception people have about our slogan. Okay, thank we you. We were not the one who said Lagos is in bondage. Okay. And uh, the, what our slogan says is freedom for Lagos. Freedom for Lagos. Sets Lagos free. free. Okay. When we talk about freedom for Lagos, we are not talking about physical chains and groups. That's if it's a figure of speech. We are not saying that people are physically changed to the to, to, to the to the wall or they are living in bondage, so to speak. It's a metaphor. It's a way of saying that there is nobody in Lagos today that is not groaning under the weight of an oligarchy in its place in the political spectrum. There's no negotiation that would say he or she is contented with the way things are going on in Lagos State now when some individuals can sit down and single-handedly pick who will decide the fate of negotiations in for four years in any political cycle. And um, many negotiations are groaning under the weight of taxation, multiple taxation that they don't even know how it's collected, they don't know the figure of collection. We don't know the, trans the, 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 the process for getting those taxes are not transparent. Mm -hmm. The Goshians don't know how much Lagos State actually makes in a month, mm -hmm. and they don't know how it is dispersed. We all know that we just make money and it is spent. And the Goshians are saying no more of that. More they want to change mm -hmm. in the political spectrum. They want freedom to choose who they want. They want their voices to be heard. They want their taxes not to be multiplied and then dupl duplicated in so many ways and they not see what they are, what they are being used for. Mm -hmm. Negotiators are saying they want a breath of fresh air for what used to obtain. Mm -hmm. And that's what Freedom for Lagos basically entails. And then when we, talk, we break that down in our manifesto. It's, okay. it's on three tripod of okay. livability, economy, and the future. Mm -hmm. Livability, you know, the Organization for Economic Development says livability means that we want to know 
the best and good conditions of living in, 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 in mega cities around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you rank the mega cities around the world, uh, the, the United Nations rank Lagos as 29 out of 34. Mm -hmm. As being the worst city. Actually, it's actually 138 out of, out of 140 cities evaluated. Nigeria is, I mean, Lagos is only ahead of uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh and Damascus in Syria. Mm. And that is very, very, very bad. We don't want that obtained. We want to change Lagos State to being the foremost mega city that we used to know it as being in West Africa sub-region mm. and one of the best in Africa uh, right. by making sure that um, our infrastructure, our education, mm. our health care, our housing mm. uh, is the best. It mm. ranks among the best. And then the second tripod talks about um, um, economy. economy. We want to make sure that the economy of Lagos State is not tied to the piggy bank of one person. We want to ensure that Lagosians have a way of coming here. Mm. We used to have, before, before people talk about American dream, they used to talk about Lagos dream. People come into Lagos to, to pursue their dreams and aspirations and aspire to be the best at their greatest fields and career. We want that to return. We don't want a situation whereby the Lagosians are trooping to use uh, the Third Milan Bridge as a as a suicide means of choice of killing choice. themselves mm. where Lagosians are buying insecticide to drink it because mm. the economic hardship is so much my principal Mr. Oloji Mikola will like but he wants to reverse that he wants to make sure that economy of Lagos state is even by ex ex by strengthening the SMEs mm. because the SMEs are the engines of growth in every locality mm. so okay. strengthening the SMEs yeah. to make sure there's appropriate job creation mm -hmm. for the teaming you are there mm. who are not employed yet and then when you talk about strengthening them one key two key areas you want to ensure that is by making that the, uh, the multiple the, the multiple taxes that have been paid by the SMEs are looked into and that find a way to streamline all those taxes into you know a reasonable means of making sure they pay the taxes and at the same time they exist and at, at the same time it wants to ensure that the ease of doing business in Lagos state is looked into currently uh, Lagos state ranks um, 36 out of 36 states ranked in nigeria that means it's on the lowest rung of the ladder when it comes to ease of doing business, business. in in nigeria mm -hmm. he won't buy principal mr roji nicola with the budget this time around wants to reverse that he wants to make sure that the bottlenecks which comes in many of the regulatory frameworks we have now. People have to spend, for instance, people have to spend at least a year in getting their C of O registered mm -hmm. or getting many of the paperwork registered before they can start, start their businesses. He wants to make sure that those bottlenecks are reduced and minimized. And then on the third rung of the ladder is a li uh, the future. We want to link us to the future where everybody will be proud to retire in. Many people, when after working and they want to retire, they leave Lagos. Mm. They go back to their various uh, state of origin to spend their, uh, their latter years. We don't want that to happen. We want people to stay back in Lagos and relax in Lagos and see Lagos as a place of relaxation, relaxation by making sure that Lagos State Government engages in, in, in making sure that there's appropriate technology mm. and implementation of blue economy. What do we mean by blue economy? Blue economy means that um, we want to ensure that uh, there's less emission of greenhouse gases in Lagos. What well, we have now, we want to ensure that um, Lagos State complies with the United Nations guideline on greenhouse emissions, ensure that um, we put in place appropriate machinery to ensure that Lagos is clean and um, very pleasant to look at. We want to make sure that there are relaxation spots for people to relax in. There are appropriate parks for people to sit down and enjoy the greenery around them. And that's what we work with by Lagos of the future. So freedom for Lagos means that on livability, economy, and the future, the Lagosians future. Oh, okay. have a breath of fresh air for what is obtaining now. Okay, that's the meaning of that. that. All right, now let's talk about the town posters on the Todd Mellon Bridge. Yes, at least I think I did the news yesterday night and I read it and I was like, well, what's mm -hmm. happening? And now you people tackling that? Well, our, our legal team looked into that situation. Okay. They are currently working on it as well. Okay. Because the situation on ground That now, means it's true? It is true. Okay. It is very true. Okay. Um, they cut away posters, some posters on the Third Milan Bridge. That has been going on since December 1, when it can be. You go by the Sorry. Okay. Go by the campaign. Campaign. Kicked off. Okay. It has been ongoing since then. Mm. Anytime we put our campaign posters out there, before, in a matter of a few days, they are taken away. For one reason or the other. And but you know, there's this insinuation that says the, willing, the ruling party are the one doing this. But how sure are you people that they are the one doing it? Because we it's not the only ruling. I think it's not just the ruling party alone that is campaigning. We have other parties too. 
but the accusation finger is being pointed at the ruling party. That is what many negotiations say. Negotiations mm. drive past them when they are taking away the posters. Okay. Negotiations see them. them and take pictures and put them on social media. On social media, okay. So everybody see what is going on. What's going on? We've mm. had reports where some of them were caught red-handed. Red okay. And they were taken to the police station after they were apprehended. Wow. And they were wearing jackets, official okay. jackets of, of the agency uh, um, established, established to be in charge of that. Okay. They okay. have the ID cards of that organization. Of the organization. Them. Okay. So it is not uh, a rumor, it is not an insinuation. Actually, that is the situation on ground. Okay. But having said that, the current event happening on Todd Milan Bridge um, is, 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 is happens to be a different scenario from what used to obtain. Mm. Because this time around, they said there's an agency okay. that has been tasked with the responsibility of putting campaign posters on that bridge. Mm. They have the legal rights to do that. Okay. And that, that campaign, that agency mm. is saying that that right does not extend to the People's Democratic Party in Lagos State. So okay. on that basis, they mm. went to the Todd Villa Bridge and started taking away our campaign posters in the there. last two days. Mm. And um, those are new posters we just printed and put there. Okay. We were not informed. Any, any society knows that uh, there's always due process for doing things like that. If, you, if someone flouts the law, you don't apply the full weight of the law immediately. You inform them first there is always a time for first and second warning. Then you let them know the full wrath of the law is about to be brought on them before you now go ahead and implement what you want to implement. So we're not giving any notice. We're not warned. Nothing of that nature came forth. Right. We just took away the posters. All right. And we are addressing that. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. We don't really have much time left, but I think I'm still going to invite you again because I know you have a lot to say. And just like we discussed, you're still coming back sometime this next month, right? sometime yes, in this yes. one and i think if you will have, have me i will have you oh definitely i would love to have you oh, it's so good to have you all right i appreciate you coming in the show thank you so much yeah so, <laughs> thank you very much thank you very much we just have to call it off from here i'm so sorry i know you're enjoying the chat you're enjoying the chit chat i told you pitch talk is all about we say it's the way it is we don't hide words under our terms we say it the way it is no one is going to hold us for that and we we'll say the real thing so that we don't get <laughs> they don't hold us responsible for what is not all right we'll be back after this break with my next guest on set Guest today on Pitch Tour is Monique. Monique is one of Nigeria's phenomenal gospel artists with an obvious grace of love and acceptance. The latest born gospel music sensation currently has eight videos and two albums to a credit and has worked with notable other ministers of the gospel, which include the highly favored Midnight Crew, Boki. David Kondji of Infinity, Mike Abdul, Kelly Corey, Sammy Okbosu, and several others. A unique sound, talent, and obvious anointing has brought her on unveiled platforms. She on the same stage with renowned gospel ministers such as Don Juan, Ron Carolyn, Sammy Okbosu, Midnight Crew, Bucci, Mike Aremo, and Buki, to mention but a few. Monique and her songs have enjoyed several reviews, nominations, and awards. She's currently signed to Spaghetti Records, from where she's taken a praise marathon beyond the shores of Nigeria. Monique is happily married and blessed with children. You're welcome.
your time. All right, welcome back, welcome back. And on set with me right now, I have Monique on set with me. So good to have you. It's so nice to be here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. All right, before you even do anything, just give us a freestyle of yourself first. I know I think okay. for long mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Your mercy will I see. Just like the days when power fought the sea. Your power remains the same. Yes, you never change. Join me, we are parallel. This is why you tell me to do something. I just threw it at you. I'm not expecting that. I don't know what should I do. I'm like, no, 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 no. That means it's not in you. Wow. wow. What has been happening to you? Uh, well, mm. I just, um, I just released, oh, not just. I actually dropped um, my third studio album well. last December mm. and I just released a video titled Is It Working? Mm. And then we've been here and there ministering. Ah, uh, that's it. That's all that has been happening. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So now, let's talk about your music. How did you venture into music? Because you're good. Okay. I don't like hyping people, but I'll tell you, you're good. <laughs> Praise God. No, you're good. First of all, I did not venture into music. Okay. I'm proud to say that I'm called to do music. You're called to do music. Yes, okay. I'm gifted to do it. Okay. And um, I, I, well, I like to say this. Okay. Um, when... I wanted to go into music professionally okay. apart from doing it since I was a mm. child I I'd loved to do secular music secular music yes wow. but I really wanted to do love songs you know wow. I want to be like the likes of Celine Dion, Celine Dion. you know Aziza mm. from mm. those, Aziza from those yeah. Yeah. yeah I want to do love songs mm. you know but as God will have it mm. I I um I, I entered into a covenant with God. That's a long story. I wow. can't go into that right now. And wow. I just told God, no, it has to be you and you alone. And I'm going to serve you with what you're giving to me, which is my gift, my voice. Mm. And since then, it's been gospel and it will be gospel. Mm. <laughs> like my boss used to tell me that it's not all about how far. It's all about how well. That's right. So how well? Um, okay, how far will be like 15 years ago, but okay. how well mm. it's been God? Because mm. um, if indeed God called you, okay. he will be faithful to that calling. And okay. I want to say that God has been faithful mm. in all ramifications. God mm. has been faithful. Um, it's not been easy, mm. but at every crossroad, you will always show forth mm -hmm. and give me a bridge. Wow. to link me to the next level and mm. God has been faithful faithful yes mm. God has been faithful all right now about gospel music in Nigeria how was oh. it how was the industry <laughs> of gospel because it's different from all the secular things Honestly, uh, mm. gospel music in Nigeria is tough mm. but it's beautiful it's beautiful yes because um, I would say it's tough because of media mm. thank God for the media houses that has been embracing and loving the works of God, of God. you know mm. not um, having to say oh I don't want to be a part of this but right. God has used them I don't want to mention names but I want to say thank you to all of them and to those who feels no 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 we don't want to do this mm. I still say that God will use you one day that's mm. the only challenge we have but God has always been good and been faithful mm. he made sure that there's another avenue to reach out to people mm. with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. And that's through social media. Through social media. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. whatever you want to know about me, mm. uh, the message I want to pass across, I can use my social media handle yeah. and talk about whatever I want to talk about without having anybody to say, no, put that down. Put that down. Say, no, don't say this on her. Yeah. yeah. So God has been faithful. Mm. And the most beautiful part of it is that we even have a place a platform that's the church okay. or crusade or you can actually put up a concert and say that yes i want to talk about how god has been faithful to me i want to share my testimony wow. of how god has been faithful and people will come people will and come. i share wow. my testimony and i inspire people and we sing and dance and in the presence of god there is fullness of joy so hmm. that's a beautiful part of being a gospel artist or doing gospel music mm -hmm. and the glorious part of it is mm -hmm. that you have inspired someone mm. by sharing your testimony mm. and that person 
now have um, a relationship with God mm -hmm. and that person is also sharing that gospel you have passed across it's mm -hmm. like a legacy mm -hmm. and to the glory of God we will win for the kingdom of God Amen. By doing that. Amen. Yes. Well, you know, I keep looking at you. I admire you a lot. <laughs> Thank because you. Because I wonder, how do you cope? Marriage and music. How ah. do you cope? Marriage, kids. <laughs> you know, marriage is something else. Kids, yes. they are something else. Okay. They work as something else. How do you cope? Okay. I always tell people, I said, I don't cope. Hmm. How do I enjoy it? How I do you enjoy that's it? Question. Hmm. Yes. You know, like I said, I if God call you, He will always make provision. Make provision. Yes, yeah. to cover up everything that will make hmm. it look difficult. You know, hmm. when they say, um, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? death? But I fear no, no evil. evil. The yeah. only reason why you fear no evil is because you know that He that has called you is always with you. With you. All the step all wow. the way wow. you know so god gave me a very good husband is my best friend is wow. my brother my friend my father is everything and wow. he joined this work of ministry with me wow. and to god be the glory my children are grown up now so wow. uh, uh, uh how do i put it i don't want to say they don't need me they always need they me always need but you. they are grown up to the level that, that mm. i can fully do ministry without having to say oh i need to breastfeed my, my baby, baby all this, 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 yeah. this now yeah, the the that that you everything. No, mm. they can actually take care of themselves that's when that's they're that. at home and then my husband is there. Everyone is there for me. Thank God. Mm. <laughs> All right, Monica it's a pity. We don't really have much time yes. left. You saw it somehow, but yes. I tell you, but when I invite you next time, you're going to come. I here. will. Please I see. will. Please Let me say here. this. I okay. love you so much. I love you so much. At <laughs> the point when I thought you were going to get upset, she said, oh, I don't want to get angry. I said, oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice to be here. All right, Thank Monique, you. please, I want you to sing out. We need to sing out of the studio right now, please. Um. Okay, let's do. Okay. Uh, oh, let's do is it working this song says okay. is it working, is it working? Okay. it's a question for you okay. and is a way to actually prophesy that everything is working for working me in 2019 mm. it will work for you and i mm. so when i say you'll be my backup now. okay <laughs> so when <laughs> i say is <laughs> this working you say yes uh yes okay oh, yeah. is yes. it working yes uh, yes she working yes i oh is it working for me yes yes working for me yes yes everybody yes yes working for me yes yes help me say yes yes working for me yes yes all right we'll be back after this break i'll be back <laughs> Welcome back and on set right now with me. I have OJ. Yes, how you doing, OJ? I'm, I'm doing great. What's up with you, my man? Are you yeah. good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. OJ, I can see your air stack. Can you just um, can you just tilt your head a little bit so that people can see your okay. air stack? <laughs> All right, OJ. What's this type of air style, OJ? <laughs> I'm just so I just love that name, OJ. So easy to pronounce. Yeah, very easy. Mm -hmm. What kind? What's the name of this air style? No, it's not an air style. It's just uh, back or back. It's yeah. all back. Yeah, I just. So you prefer it. to leave the hair like this? <laughs> That's not the reason. That's not the reason. Yeah, that's not the reason. All right, OJ, what kind of music do you do? Well, Afrobeat. Afrobeat. But what's your real name? Why OJ? What's your real name? What's well, your name? my name is Ojo Lumuiwaize. 
Okay, so it's an appreciation of Ojo. Okay, that's okay. I remember used to say Ojo people are very, very stubborn. I hope you're not stubborn. That's my surname, actually. It's not my name. It's not your name. Okay, Ojo is a surname. Okay, Ojo is a surname. My forefather who was very Ojo would be stubborn. So, for how long have you been doing music professionally? Well, I started in 2016, so let's say three, almost three years now. Almost three years now. So, let me first ask, how far? Well, we're doing going gradually getting hmm. there you're getting there and how well well it's it's been going good too. it's been going good yes so is this your first single no it's not my first this single. is not your first single yeah. do you have an album out there no yet. no oh, yet. Plenty. you're walking towards that yes yes all right so if i ask you what kind of you said you said you do what kind of music do you do alphabet alphabet yes. why alphabet <laughs> what's the meaning of alphabet alphabet like fella kind of song yeah but, but i saw people shaku shaku you know <laughs> Did they shaku shaku yeah, after that? Shaku is still under uh, Afrobeat. Shaku shaku is under yes, Afrobeat. Yes. Are you kidding me? Yes, it's under Afrobeat. Hmm. <laughs> so when you say Afrobeat, now let's have a feel of what you do. I love when I entertain, when I interview entertainers, I love you showing me what you can do raw. I love it. I love it raw. You understand what <laughs> okay. I'm talking about? Okay. Uh, mm. sh should I do the one? Just say anything you want to do. Okay, first okay. time. Okay. The first like. time. Uh, and my journey be. Okay. And my journey be. And my journey be, if you like him, you know I can, no like him, you know send if you sad, and my journey be, you no know matter what's in you the face, what's in you the face, just dance and be happy, mm. and my journey be, uh, and my journey be. You know, I love this Friday on Peach Talk. It's just full of inspirational words to everyone out there. Even the music is sending message to you because in case you're not a Yoruba, you're not Yoruba, like I saying, you keep on dancing. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're passing through, just keep on dancing. Everybody knows it's not easy. That's the way it's, not, sorry. it's not easy. It's not easy. For, yeah. So for, okay, you said you've been doing music professionally for three years. Yeah. Okay, now if I, not three years. But three almost, years. Yeah, okay, are you on a record label? No, or you're just yet. pushing it yourself? We're just pushing it. Like wow. Wow. Really stuff. wow, 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 wow. Yeah. You know, when people tell me they're pushing it themselves, I know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So how are you coping? Yeah, well, I have to cope. Are you yeah. still in school or you're working part-time no, somewhere? Or how do you do I'm it? How do you get, where do you get the support from? From my dad, basically. Oh, from your dad. Your dad supports what you're doing. Really? You Our parents are even supporting music. Like, because when they see the video, they see the likes of the likes of the video, well, the likes of the video, the likes well, of I, um, I would say all parents. Whiskey. Some parents still don't support their kids, you know. And maybe those fanatics. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> well, say the fanatics. Maybe, maybe those ones that yeah. accept religion, yeah. that take religion as if it's something else. Yeah, but at least my mm. dad really supports me. Your dad really supports yes. you. So are you still in school? Or no, you? I'm done. I, You're done? Yeah, I graduated uh, as an electrical electrician engineering what year was that that was uh 2016. 16. yeah wow so why are you not working why music <laughs> <laughs> that's what people always know. Uh, yes, do yeah. I need to ask you because when you graduate, you have the certificate, <laughs> so you can as well work and even still do the music. You know, the most important thing is mm. happiness matters most. Happiness okay, matters. I, I, that's what I used to talk to. I, I, I have a I friend. I love that. I have a friend mm. who, you know, I graduated for him. And okay. I got a job. Every day he calls me. I'm not happy. I don't like my job. I don't do this. No. I'm be happy. Okay. <laughs> you know? Why do you quit and do whatever that makes you happy? Because you don't feel like that. Like she the same always calling me. Mm. I'm not happy. I'm not this. I'm not that. Mm. Remember, you have to stay happy always. Happiness is the most important thing. Mm. If you're not happy, you have to stop whatever that is making you unhappy. Every day he calls me. I'm not happy. I'm my job, my job. What is wrong? <laughs> That's what I used to say. Tell people that if it's a lifestyle, if it's a job, if it's a relationship, it's not yeah. making you happy. Just quit it. Yep. Do whatever makes you happy. Yes. We have this one life. Some people do things for. I just want to survive. I just want to survive. Mm. It's all about ah money, 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 money. But it's not about that. A lot of them after going into it, they mm. realize it can't just. They can't just get happiness from that thing. Mm. That's you know. That's the case. Mm. You know, we have a lot of people. I have friends like that who just call me naturally. I'm not happy. But you are happy at what you do. Very happy. Very mm. happy. That's very, very good. So if I ask you, which hood do you represent? Which school? Hood. Hood? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. Uh, Alagbado. Alagbado, yeah. That's where you represent. Yeah. So you come all the way from Alagbado. Yeah. All right, now let's give us another freestyle again. Okay. Okay, let me give you like uh, okay. something new now. Mm. Uh, them one try to stop me, them okay. one see me finish. Okay. Them try all their best, but they no feet. Put me down, I am stronger, growing bigger. 
You can never stop me now, cause I'm unstoppable, 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 yeah, unstoppable. Hmm. I'm unstoppable as well, OJ. Because yeah. you think they can stop me, they can stop me as well. well I'm unstoppable <laughs> as well. I'm unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what should people, what should your people expect from you? What should people expect from you? Well, more, 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 more. music coming. All right, let me quickly ask you this question. Let's not forget. In five years' time, where do you see yourself? Wow, I see myself, you know, big in the industry, you know. Oh, shutting like down O2 Arena. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. You want to shut down O2 Arena? Because that's, that's every artist. <laughs> That's what every artist wants to shut down more. They want to shut down O2 Arena in UK. And, and the main dream, mm. the, my main dream, I haven't okay. even told anybody yet. Okay. Is, so want, just say it out I, on Peach Talk. Because on Peach Talk, just I say it the way it is. I want to perform at the World Cup. You want to perform at the World Cup? Well, <laughs> I know it's a big dream, bro. You know that? Don't worry, you're going to get there. That's the dream. Just keep driving towards that first. Yes, you're going to yes, get yes, there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right now. So, okay. Now, what? I really want to ask you again that. Are you in this relationship? Let's get personal. No, now. not in any relationship. Yeah. No, not in any relationship. Yeah. No plans for relationship. Your girlfriend is watching. You <laughs> <laughs> no, in case you think Tindra is not watching, <laughs> this video is going to be online. No, no, I know. I know what I know. you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in any relationship right now. Okay. And I'm not planning. Okay, yeah. so if maybe like, later. Okay, a male, star, a male star act in Nigeria. Yeah. Which male star act in Nigeria do you really want to feature with? Oh, you have oh, the opportunity. Is Daniel. Whiskey David. Because Daniel, Whiskey David. Yeah. Hmm. You're unstoppable, truth. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the signs of being unstoppable. Okay, okay with a female act. Wow, I love all the. I, let me first say, I love all the females, female singers. I don't know why. Okay. I just love their music. You love them. Mini, Tiwa, uh, Simi, Yemi Aladi. I love them. I love them. I love them. I, the I don't know. The new kid on why. the block. You said? Uh, one of the new kids on the block. Um, uh, what's the name? To, um, was it with an Tenny? Yes, Tenny, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like them all. I listen to their music very well. The oh. female, all the female. female all right, female. so now to all the artists out there that are like upcoming stars, I call them upcoming stars, that like right now, they too, they are struggling. I want you to encourage them because you're there right now. <laughs> so I want you to use your own experience. As they say, experience is the best uh, teacher. Yeah, well, so use your own experience well, to patience encourage the, them. Mm. Patience uh, is the key, yeah. Patience and, you know, not just patience. You must have a goal. Patience okay. will go. Don't don't just sit down and tell me and say, okay, it will come, it will come. You never come. It will never come. Yeah, but patience is very important. Mm. Without patience, you you know you'll be frustrated, frustration and all those things. But patience is the key. All right, thank you very much. That's all on Peach Talk today. Remember again next Friday, in eleven to twelve on Peach Talk with Teresa Adeyemi Tese, and we say it's the way it is. I tell you. And again, you can follow me on Instagram at Tessa Rally. Follow me on Facebook at Tessa Rally. On Twitter at Tessa Rally. And again, once you follow me, you're going to get the link of this interview on YouTube. All right, till I come your way again, be good to yourself. Till I come your way again, it's a bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.